What's going on, people? So, this is meant to be on a stand. The missus has got my um, stand right now. Well, our stand, so just gonna do it like this. But um, on a real talk, I finally figured it out. Um, what I wanna contribute to this world is bigger than what I was chasing prior, so I sacrificed fame. I don't give a fuck about fame anymore. I genuinely don't. <laughs> like, I just say that <laughs> out loud. It's so freeing, bro. <laughs> it's so freeing, sis. But nah, man, I, I really don't care. Sorry, bear with me. I'm gonna try and make this video maximum five minutes, if that. What I'm basically saying is, when I look back on my, on my Instagram, I was doing this five year plan for mental health and music and for pretty much the rest of my a purpose, the reason why I'm here, why I'm alive. And it was all about telling the story of my journey through music. So the future's yellow was meant to represent the fact that when I had my breakdown, everything was good. No one, no one saw it coming. Out of the blue was meant to represent the fact that, well, out of the blue, the breakdown happened, so no one saw it coming. Beta Gray represented the fact that for four years, I went ghost. Um, I went ghost, basically. Um, Back to Black, which was meant to come out this year, was meant to represent the fact that I'm going back to the source, going back to my roots, going back home, and just making music again with friends. I was meant to do, my plan was to do collaborations with people who are actually friends, first and foremost, not just music peers, but people who are, who are friends or were friends, because I don't know where everyone stands in this weird world right now, so... It was meant to be people like Little Sims, people like Octavian, people like Lavelle, people like Shaka. Well, I say Shaka. Shout out Shaka. Um, but people like Ambush, people like Miss Banks, Shay Lingo. Just it was meant to be a literally Back to Black was meant to be a compilation album. Shades the Misfit, Shout out Shades. We'll still record that song one day by God's grace. Um, yeah. <sighs> then Whitewash was meant to represent um pretty much doing what Kanye West did and finally giving it all to God. Um so when he dropped Jesus as King, Whitewash was meant to represent me washing myself clean, blank canvas, as little sins would say and um yeah just giving it to the most high and then the debut album was going to come out which would have been called my true colors no true colors self-portrait but with everything that's going on in the world now Those last two don't, yeah, the priority is not, is not now. With everything going on in the world, I no longer, I can't, I couldn't give a fuck about music, sorry to swear. I know, I know young people watch my stuff. I, I couldn't give a rat's ass. Like, there's so much more going on and I, I'm here to make change. I'm here to be a success and testify it to God as opposed to, yeah, as opposed to um, trying to be famous. Like, I've been there, I bit that, bit that apple, had a bite, it's all right, but I want more out of life. 
So I promised that I was gonna try and keep this short. Um, but Satan's telling me to keep going. So those who actually watch this to the end, I rate you. As the song in the background plays, I think we all know that the world is in a place where enough is enough and the music has to stop for me anyway I look at it like the way Kanye West um, he was meant to make late registration college dropout graduation and then good ass job he never got round to making good ass job till this day God sidetracked him and put him on a different mission and then the rest is everything we've seen and I feel this is my calling where God is sidetracking me and who knows I might never ever get to make Back to Black I might never get to make Whitewash um, but what I'm ready to make is history and by doing that I sacrifice fame to do what I'm going to start doing which is I'm going to start doing these videos and I'm going to share with you what I've learned in the music industry. I'm going to share with you what I've learned in health and mental health and mental well-being. I'm going to share with you what I've learned with spirituality. I'm going to share with you what I've learned in fatherhood. I'm going to share with you what I've learned in the streets. I'm going to share with you what I've learned in scams. I'm going to share with you what I've learned in trading systems. I'm going to share with you what I've learned in property, especially property. I'm going to share with you what I've learned in marriage. I'm going to share with you what I've learned in brotherhood. And I'm going to share with you what I've learned in Africa. Most importantly, back home, like in where we started, I'm going to share with you. As we speak right now, I've got, I've just come out of a, okay, I'm going to try and make it 10 minutes max. I've just come out of a mad um mad few weeks i think the whole world has and i think everyone who makes it out of this time in 2020 we all deserve a stamp like except for the useless human beings like the racist the rapist etc those the terrorists them them ones can yeah but everyone else who made it through we deserve to really put ourselves um to pat ourselves on the back because we've lived through history a very traumatic time for the for the earth for and we as this organisms for us as humans one of the things so i cut my beard off recently started growing it again from scratch but this time with no i'm not taking any boosting things from any yeah um, one of the things that has helped me a lot is my product, which I'm going to be sharing with you on this journey. So I'm going to share with you what my product does. Um, drinking water and taking my products has helped with my mental mind, my physical mind. So I've exercised today. Well, earlier yesterday, technically, because it's like 4 a.m. now and I ain't slept. I'm working from home right now, so I'm going to share with you what I've learned working for Southern Council so that you guys know how to maneuver in the council as well. I'm just going to share what I've learned because regardless of fame and the facade that that brings, I've actually got a lot to share. And a lot of the rest of my peers in that fame world seem to only have money to share. That's it, money. And even that, a lot of the times people don't share. Um, I'm, I came back on Instagram and I've seen, shout out to Bow Wow, I've seen that he's doing something about um, letting people slide in his DM and send them the song. He's the only one that I've seen that isn't like, isn't capping. It's just literally send him a DM, that's it. One day he'll see it, he'll reply if your music bangs, that's it. All the rest of these guys are already making it into a scheme, like send us your music and they're gonna have a robot tell you that, oh, pay 50 pound and you'll be heard. And fam, 2,000 people easily jump on that. 
90% of them will never get even heard once. That's already 100k right there. It's it's mad. They're just scamming people. It's sad. But um, these are the type of things I'll be sharing with you. So I'm going to wrap this video up now. This is what you can expect of me going forward. I'm going to just chat to you lot. And like I said, going forward, it's going to be better. Like you get the full angle and all that stuff as opposed to me doing it like this. So yeah, man. But I love you guys. Um, in the meantime, musically, I'll be gone, but I'm going to be here. So when you reminisce, listen to the future, Jello, listen to Out of the Blue or listen to Fade to Grey. I'm going to get Fade to Grey on all the platforms like soon. But yeah, until then, this is what you can expect from me going forward, man. I sacrifice fame, fuck fame. I want change.